one. Hello, everybody, and Happy New Year. This is Leah and Ryan from FeathersLeafPigeonAuctions.com with the first Live with the Lots of 2021 with our first American ever featuring Mr. Yoanni Saints, Cuba Family Loft from the United States of America. Take it away, Ryan. Wow. That's it. That's all we're going to start it with, Leah. It's quite simple. It's wow. Question for you, Leah. Question. Yes. You want to know the question? Yes. Fantastic question for you. In the last five years, Yoanni has put together an outstanding run of collecting and earning wins in some of the toughest maturity races and one loft races in North America. In the last five years, this gentleman has earned over 150,000 US dollars. Ladies and gentlemen, these are impact pigeons. I promise you that they are impact pigeons in the money racing game for sure. Okay? 100%. These birds are putting money in this man's pocket year after year for the last five years. Basically, he. He's making with these birds around 30000 a year. They're putting in his pocket. They're earning them. Fantastic pigeons. The last 20 years, he's been collecting those key pigeons to build this family. The man's only 40. He started when he was seven years old. Look what he's doing. Look what he's doing. Hey, and as of right now, in the Pattaya one loft race, way over, multiple oceans, a whole lot of land. He's sitting average 20th position going into the finals. Give him a little love. He might just win it this week. There we go. We can tell Ryan is very excited about this auction because more excited Ryan gets, the louder he gets. So <laughs> we know you're excited Leah, about this one. Leah, are, are you winning average 30000 a year? I'm not, no. Not even 1% of that. But hey, guys, he's got some fantastic pigeons. We're going to look at these 14 awesome lots. We're going to go through them now. Lee, are you ready to start on good old lot number one? I am ready to start. Just want to remind everybody that all bids are in Canadian dollars. Free shipping across the United States and taxes are included in the final bid price of the pigeon. Auction is open now for bidding. Auction closes on Tuesday, 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Where do you guys go to bid? FeathersElitePigeonAuctions.com. If you're new to us, welcome. Uh, Ryan and I do a live show where we go through all the lots in each of our Feathers Elite Pigeon Auction auctions. And we're going to start things off this year with UNA Saints Cuba Family Loft from the USA. We're going to start with lot number one. Take it away, Ryan. Here we, here we go. Uh, AU 2020 Saints 20067. It's a dark a Beautiful cock. blue checker cock. Sorry, Leah. We're getting, gotta get those kinks in. Get going. We have to get back into the groove here. A dark checker cock, original Kiba family loft with Pipa Elite Center, son of super breeder Meteor, aka King Charlie, and Margarita from the Pipa Elite Center. We're going to talk a little bit about the sire and the dam in a minute, but Ryan, let's talk about lot number one. You know, Leah, sometimes these pigeons, when you handle them, they know when the show's going to start. They, they change. And I'll tell you, he's a bigger pigeon, okay? About a finger and a half, maybe two fingers. Heel to the vent. Vents are strong. They're tucked up. They're just a little bit open. For a big man, he is buoyant. Got good muscle. Got a nice, strong forearm. When you open that wing, you got to use your muscles to lift up his wing. Nice, soft, silky feathers. Let's check it out. He's one pintail. The back does come up a little bit. Again, beautiful, beautiful wing. Cockridge got great fight. Sharp looking face on him. Nice eye. I'm going to tell you, this bird will be one head turner. When he's a two or three year old, he'll probably get a nice big waddle on him. Again, gorgeous, gorgeous wing. Strong back. He's one pin tail. The back comes up just a bit. I find he's feeling me being a little calmer today. And uh, 
he's got it right there. But uh, take a look at him. Look at the nice shine on the neck. Look at the intelligence. Look at the thickness in the bars. Looks like a winner to me. I did forget to mention his name is Meteor Jr. And why is he named Meteor Jr.? Well, the sire is Meteor, a.k.a. King Charlie, who is a super breeding cock, a perfect foundation breeder, sire to Saints 325, winner of first versus 300 Ace Bird Club, first versus 539 Ace Bird G S W C, first versus 964 Ace Bird GCHPA, one at the AU National Ace, second versus 2180 Pigeons, AU National Ace 2017, GCHPA Race Records, third versus 631 Pigeons 300 miles, third versus 544 Pigeons 200 miles, fifth versus 753 Pigeons 114 miles, 13th versus 500 Pigeons 300 miles, etc., etc. That is just the sire, folks. Sire. Grand Sire, of course, is on the Sire side. Charlie from C&G Koopman, super son of Klein Dirk. Uh, the dam is Margarita from Pipa Elite Center. Dam to winner of 2018 GHC Young Bird Master Cup. Seventh versus 185 pigeons, 400 miles, 55 seconds to win. And a sister to Norma. Norma, of course, was the first semi-national Montalon winner versus 6,141 pigeons. Got the grand sire on the dam side is New Freddy 268. And the grand dam on the dam side is Gloria, sister of Norma, daughter of James Bond from Ariane Varek, sire to Tarzan from Ariane Varek. I think I hit everybody there, wow. right? Did I miss anybody? You didn't leave me any good, any good little tips and tricks to give away. But you know what? What do I notice? I noticed in these pedigrees, in the back, I mean up in the front, but look in the back. Look at all the super outstanding pigeons in the back there with Klein Dirk. You even got Whitcop Sylvester in there. You got New Freddy in there. We said in the last 20 years, he's been acquiring top bloodlines, top pigeons. Check out this cock when he calms down. He is a nice cock. Balanced, strong. You know what? He's a head turner, Leah. And I'm going to tell you, I think my ranking on him was a little low. But I'd rather be a little old than too high. He's calming down. He's coming into his own. This guy here, for your lot number one, he's putting on a show. There he is. Loft manager rating was actually 99 out of 100. Almost hit him at 100. He's, look how nice, look how balanced he is in the hands right now. Beautiful. Where place. do you go to bid? FeathersElitePigeonAuctions.com. Once again, this auction runs until Tuesday at 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We're going to move on to lot number two. Ryan's going to read the band number. All right, here we go. Whoa, what a hand. These two could go good together. Lot number two, AU 2020 Saints 20031, a beautiful blue hen. Take it away, Leah. A blue bar hen, original Cuba family loft, granddaughter of USA super money winning producers Diablo and Picasso. This is Diablo's revenge. Ryan, let's talk about her. Very, very small hen, tight, compact. Again, you talk about money winners and you're talking about it. You feel these nice, small, buoyant pigeons, small hens normally. I see a lot of it. This hen has it. About a finger keel to the vent. Vents are tucked up to tight. Uh, her, she is one fin tail. Maybe the back moves a little bit. She's got nice feather, nice muscling, good strong forearm. Feathers are silky. Let's check out the wing on her. Again, another real, real nice wing. Strong one pin tail back. Again, some birds feel the energy. They get a little more crazy in your hands. But this hen here, she's calming down real quite nice. Take a look at the wing here. Again, vent bones are nice. Feather quality is good. She's nice, she's sharp, she's buoyant. She's got a look to her, this one. Sure does. The grand sire on the sire side, of course, is Diablo. A super breeding cock, sire to winner of the 2015-2016 South African Million Dollar Pigeon Race Car Race Number 5. And sire to winner of 2015-2016 South African Million Dollar Pigeon Race Car Race Number 2. And sire to winner of first Three Bird Challenge 2016. And also sire to winner of 10th and 27th car race five South African million dollar pigeon race 2017. 63rd 
oh, I guess overall, 2017 South African Million Dollar Pigeon Race Final. Son of Leonardo and Tinkerbell. Wow, that is just the grandsire on the sire side. Isn't that something, Leah? That, that is, is something. Look at this. Look at this wing again. When you're looking on the damn side, there's a key bird in there. Miss Caesar. Uh, she she crushed it. Ten out of eleven races in the top. Uh, right up at the top, I believe eight of the ten were in the top ten percent. Super super. These birds are loaded. Wins. Big money winners. Again, one loft winning. One loft winning is tough. The secret to winning all one loft racing is get to the finals. You need birds that can do it. These are the birds in the last five years that seem to make it to the finals. You know what they do, Leah, these birds, when they make it to the final? Hmm. They then do the most important thing. They show up when the money's on the table. Absolutely. Here's your lot number two. Lot number two, loft manager rating on lot number two is 99 out of 100. Before you go to bed, feathersleeppigeonauctions.com. We're going to move on to lot number three. Ooh, this is another one hell of a pigeon this is. Oh, here we go. AU 2020 Saints 20094. A beautiful, gorgeous blue bar hen. A blue bar hen, original Cuba family loft, the best of the blade, Picasso, and D46 blood bloodlines, and an S mate to your lot number four. This is Blade Runner. Ryan, let's talk about her. Again, very, very nice, this hen, loaded with muscle. She's got a little more muscle than the last hen, a little bit tighter. Real nice, perfect in the hands, buoyancy, super strong forearm. The feather quality on this hen, when you feel it, it's nice. It feels beautiful in your fingers, soft, silky, man, oh, man. She's got a sharp face, gorgeous eye, and uh, nice, nice wing on her again. Very nice very nice pigeon the feathers look like they're just painted on this pigeon super super quality vents are tucked up now the vents are strong they're open a little bit not bad at all gorgeous hen take it away leah on the sire side you've got the grand sire is blade blade is a super breeding cock sire two lol who was a super racer diablo 666 which was a super racer saints 22 winner of t C convention 2013 second versus 537 pigeons fifth versus 820 pigeons seventh versus 904 pigeons six versus 980 pigeons and champ bird 2011 etc etc that is just the grand sire on the sire side of your lot number three and four when we get into the nest mate lot number four we'll read we'll look a little bit into the dam side Brian, anything you have to say on the sire side of lot three and lot four no, you know what? I'm not going to add anything to it. You, you've taken it away. Um, it's a super pigeon, this pigeon. It's a very, very special pigeon. It's gorgeous. It has it all. Look at – you've seen me handle these last few pigeons, and you see the confidence when you hang on to them or hold, help holding them. They're just nice. They're calm. They're not all crazy. Uh, there's something special about these pigeons, and you can feel with the muscle, the feather quality, look at the sharpness of them. The shine on them, the feather, everything. These birds are gold. And not only are the grand sire and sires and grand dams of lot three and four super breeders, but uh, the sire and dam have also bred winners, which is super. We're going to move on to the nest mate, which is lot number four. And Ryan's just going to read the band number for us. All right, here we go. AU 2020 Saints. 20095, an absolute gorgeous slate cock. Yes, he's a slate. He's not a black. He almost looks black from here. But boy, what a cock this is, Leah. Take it away. This is a, a slate cock, original Cuba family loft, the best of the blade, Picasso, and D46 blood bloodlines, and an S made, of course, to your lot number three. This is Slate Lee. Ryan, let's talk about him. All right, again. He is a little bit larger, but he's nice. He's strong. His back, one pintail, it moves a bit, a little bit more than, than, that, than the sister or the hen. Uh, vents are strong, a little bit open, but they're tucked up nice. He's got great feather quality. It shines off of him. Boy, 
Nice silky feathers. Let's check out the wing on this guy. Again, another gorgeous, gorgeous wing. Look at those three flights there at the end. Basically all lining up three in a row. Super, super nice. Again, good muscle for his size. He's not overly big. Whoop, I told you. He's got some fight to him, Leah. Yeah, he's he got sure some does. fight. But again, beautiful color on this bird. I mean, really, when you hold him up, he almost looks black in the camera. On the dam side of your lot number three and lot number four, the dam is Saints 22, inbred D46 blood, dam to winner of, two times first association winner. Grand sire on the dam side is Boss, one of the best Yanson blood in the world. Sire, two prize winners, 2012 young bird, one made it to Angel. Son of Voyager 1 times Golden Lady. Golden Lady wins $20,100 in Vegas. Overall average speed winner. That is the dam side of your lot number three and lot number four. Whole lot of winners throughout. <laughs> hey, are you category. going shopping? Are you going shopping? I mean, every, all the little notes I've picked up on, you, you've picked up on the same thing. Money winners, average speed winners. you got a little bit of the old Jansen in these birds with his top blade stuff. Super, super pigeons right here. Brother and sister, both fantastic. You cannot go wrong. If you are looking to participate in one loft racing worldwide, I don't think you're going to go wrong with these pigeons. Loft manager rating okay. on your lot number four, you are 98 and a half out of 100. And hey, guys, when we give you the details on the pedigree, don't take it from us. Don't take it from me. Don't take it from Ryan. Head on over to our website, feathersleafpigeonauctions.com, where we have all the lots listed and we have a plethora of information, whether it's photos, videos, write-ups, you name it, we have it. I truly think we are definitely the most comprehensive pigeon auction site in the world with regards to the amount of information that we give potential buyers. So we do it for a reason, and that's so you guys can make informative bids. So head on over there you once you're done watching this and uh, do your research for yourself and make your informed bids. Go ahead, Ryan. We want you, when you're purchasing a pigeon from Feathers Elite, we want you to have the option to leave no stone unturned. Okay? We want you to be able to look at the beautiful, sexy model photo. We want you to be able to look at the pigeon in live photo. We want you to watch the pigeon have a bath. We want you to be able to see the pigeon eat. Okay? Then we want you to go and look at the eye sign shot. Hell, maybe we doctored that up, you think. We want you to go look at the live eye videos we do that you can't touch. We want you to leave no stone unturned when you purchase from Feathers Elite Pigeon Auctions. I see other auction sites and not to get off the topic of these 14 fantastic lots, but I do see other auction sites that offer a five day return policy guarantee. If you don't like the bird, return it in five days. And uh, you know, I feel that we should be able to give the potential buyers bidders as much information as possible well there will never be an instance where we send somebody a bird and they say man this is not what i expected i want to send it back of course we completely stand behind every single pigeon that we sell but i never want that situation to arise do you uh, and that's why we give you everything if this pigeon's a little bit big a little bit deep a little this way a little that way i'm going to tell you that's right. Because I don't want you to get it in your hands and say, boy, you said it was small, and it's the size of the turkey that runs through my backyard. We don't right. want that. We right. want to give you the most information. That's it. And that's why even we do the open houses, we want you to come on down or give us a call and say, hey, can I have a private viewing of this? Can I come over and see this? Hey, I'm in the United States. I'm in Chicago. Could you do a FaceTime video so I can see the bird? We'll talk about it. No problem. We're here for you guys. We're the only site in the world that'll do it. Remember, where we lead, they will follow. We're going to move on to law number five. Ryan, read the band number, please. All right, here we go. AU 2020 Saints 20104. A blue checker. I believe it's a cock. It is a blue checker cock. Original Cuba Family Loft with C&G Koopman. A direct trial of super breeders DeRazor and Candy. This is Candyman. Ryan, let's talk about lot number five. All right. He's a little bit bigger. He's a little bit deeper. 
Uh, a little more pigeon, a little more bone to them. About two fingers keel to the vent. The vents are tucked up. They're open a bit, but they're strong. Okay, he's a little nervous in the hands. And you see, he's got the fight. He goes this way, goes that way a bit. Medium strong forearm, not too loose, not too tight. Good feather quality in him, real, real nice. Lots of muscle here to work with. A little bit bigger of a pigeon. Again, I noticed with Yohannes birds, Leah, look at the three end flights. Look at the step in the wing. Can you see it? I definitely can see that, yep. He, he has it. He has something going on with these three flights. I see it in almost all the birds he has pretty darn much. Look at him. Nice looking pigeon again. More pigeon here as he's calming down. He's all right. He's got that little bit of vibration. Sharp looking eye on him. Take it away, Leah. Give us the goods on this guy. Well, I also just want to make mention that you do notice in the pedigree that there is Koopman in the bloodlines of your lot number five. And what have we noticed throughout the years with Koopman pigeons, the way they handle? Some of them. Yeah. Some of you them, what? They, it's a very funny thing with Koopman because, and again, sorry to get off track here, but some of them don't handle the greatest, but man, do they kick ass. Like, man, does he kick butt. But they don't always handle the greatest. Do, is that, I mean, no offense. No. no offense, Gerard. I've been to your house and to your loft and seen your beautiful loft and your beautiful pigeons, and I have the utmost respect. But I think it's the truth. They don't all handle the greatest, but they kick ass. They do. I mean, again, uh, I believe uh, last year, Leah, who won the Pattaya? Was it not Koopman? Yeah. Or I Africa? So. He was second in. Yeah. Uh, and since those Klein, I mean, before Klein Dirk pigeons, but the Klein Dirk and that, he, the man continues to win. We were at his place, continues to win. What did Yoanny do? He went out, he bought those good Koopmans. That's right. He brought them in. And you know what? What is Yoanny doing, Leah? Oh, he's kicking ass. Kicking ass. So you know what? Don't take our word for it. Ask you any. He's on Facebook. Send him a message. He'll tell you. Spend or, good money on pigeons. I tried to buy the best. I tested them out. And look it. I'm winning. Or, by all means, ask Gerard Koopman. <laughs> and he'll, he'll tell you. I uh, just yeah. want to talk a little bit here about the sire and dam of this lot number five. The sire is DeRazor, grandsire to winner of 2018 Old Bird Ace Bird of the Year, son of super breeders Charlie and Amoria's Dream, a father-daughter mating. The dam is Candy, a super nice hen, grand dam to 2015 fifth place auction race winner, first place winner, WSLL 300 miles, third versus 392 miles GCHPA. Candy has proven to be a super breeder and grand dam to many winners. What do you got to say about the pad, Ryan? What did you find you're in gonna there? See, you're you're going to see Klein Dirk in there on the top side twice. Look way in the back as well. You're going to see on the damn side Young Blixum. You're going to see Dirky in there. You're going to see uh, Kid Cannibal in there. Those are all super impact pigeons. Kenny's Girls in there. All impact pigeons. That's the truth. They're impact. They're winning. The Bloodlines are still winning today. Take a look at your lot number five. Moving on. Loft manager rating is 92 and a half out of 100. But keep in mind, folks, we're keeping it real with you. And remember, there is some Koopman in there. So you decide for yourself. We're going to move on to lot number six. That is correct. Where do you go, go to bid feathers? ElitePigeonAuctions.com. Go ahead, Ryan. Here we go. This is this is one hell of a nice pigeon. Lot number six. AU 2020 Saints. Two zero. 107, a gorgeous blue-white flight cock. A blue-bar white flight cock, original Cuba family loft, son of super racers Mr. Ace and Dream Stopper. Full brother is sire to winner of First Florida Pigeon Derby, winning $19,500, and also sire to winner of 133rd Hoosier 2020, winning $1,500. This is two aces. Ryan, let's talk about lot number six. Well, he's he's a real stunner, this guy. Super feather quality. He's buoyant. He's not overly big, but, boy, he's got a lot of muscle. And he's put together real, real nice in the hands. You see me, guys? And, again, I see it with people. And I'm going to pick it apart. Back looks fairly strong on the guy. I don't like doing the open the legs. I ain't never seen a pigeon fly with legs open. If you see one with, flying with the legs open, send it to me. I give you $1,000 cash you see a pigeon flying with his legs open it doesn't happen 
This cock has got it all. Strong forearm, super, super tight, good muscle, silky feathers. The feathers on him are like silk. He's got those gorgeous white flights. Leah, look at the three flights at the end. I see it. And, and look, I'm going to bring him up. Getting real here. Cherry on the tree. Yoanni seems to be pulling it and hitting those cherries every time. Again, the nice white flights in this wing as well. Flights lining up. Again, gorgeous eye. Vents are strong. About a finger and a half keel to the vent. Vents are tucked up. Just a little bit open. Maybe you can give him a knock on that. But not bad at all. He's gorgeous. Talk about him, Leah. The sire is Mr. Ace, winner of 2015 Old Bird Champion Birds of the Year, GCHPA. First place overall of the year versus 457 birds. Second place middle distance of the year versus 399 birds. Second place long distance of the year versus 209 birds. The dam is Dream Stopper, a super racing hen, winner of first versus 567 birds 2016 ace overall distance at the gchpa second versus 255 birds to 2016 ace long distance at gchpa second versus 175 birds 500 miles one of the only four day birds and third versus 489 birds at 200 miles etc when i mean etc i know right. that when I, et cetera, there's a whole lot more going on in the pedigree than just on the siren dam. Ryan, what did you pick out in the pedigree on lot number six? Leah, your mic was a little muffled, so I don't know what you did there before, but just don't do that again. You're back to normal with us. Oh, this pigeon weird. here, that this pigeon here is very, very nice. You're going to see in this pedigree the consistency of the pigeon scoring from two to 500 miles. Real, real good. You got some hooven blood in there. Again, you'll see also as well, Black Widow, Aviator from Gannis. Those were impact pigeons. Pigeons that did a lot of winning for a lot of people. And again, like Yoanni said, in the last 20 years, he purchased, looked for the best pigeons he could find. And these are some of them. And you see it in the box. Look at, look at the strength. Look at the quality. Look when the cock is calm in the hands. Look at, I don't spread the legs. He's calm. He's relaxed. He's one pintail. And again, pigeons don't fly with their legs open. They tuck them underneath their tail. Just a little, a little tip for y'all. Loft manager rating on your lot number six is 99 out of 100. Where do you go to bid? Feathersleeppigeonauctions.com. Reminding everybody, all bids are in Canadian dollars. Shipping to the United States. The mic cut out. The mic. Shipping to the United States. Oh. Shipping to the United States is absolutely free for American buyers. This is a win win for Canadians, win win for Americans. We're getting the feedback. I don't know what we're doing. We got new audio equipment, but we're having fun. Now, why is this the win for American buyers? You're buying these pigeons in Canadian dollars. Win for you, Canadians. Why is this a win for you? You're buying his pigeons in Canadian dollars. A win is a win is a win. Can you hear me okay? We can hear you okay. Whatever you're doing, just stop, drop, and enjoy the show, Leah, because if I have to take it from here, I will. <laughs> he might have to. My headphone, my, <laughs> my microphone decided to crap out, so I'm sorry if this audio is going to suck from here on in, but I'm going to do my best. We're going to move on to lot number seven. Okay, here we go. Lot number seven, AU, 2020 Saints, 20112. Another big, strong blue checker cock. A dark checker cock, original Cuba family loft, son of super breeder, triple 777.7, and super racer 660, grandson of Red Steel and McCarty's hen. This is the 112. Ryan, let's talk about lot number seven. All right, another big man. I mean, he's got shoulders. They're both not wide. Nice and wide. Got a good, super strong forearm. When I feel him in the hand, there's a lot of pigeon, but for his size, he's buoyant. Finger and a half to two fingers, keel to the vent. Vents are strong, but they're open. He's one pin tail. Great feather quality on this cock. I mean, it's real, real nice. Real silky. Nice thick bars on him. Again, we're going to show it again, Leah. Look at the three flights at the end. How many pigeons in a row have these lined up? I think he's almost had every single one. 
buoyant. He's nice. Soft feathers. Again, for his size, he's nice. Get this pigeon working. I'll tell you, put him on, I think, on a tailwind course and get out of the way. He's got the speed, I bet, is in him. Take a look. He doesn't like his face being touched. Nice shine on him. Nice strong back. Take it away, Leah. The sire is triple dot seven seven dot seven. Sire two super ace four fifty two. Winner of first place versus five hundred seventy eight birds. Ace pigeon of the year two thousand eighteen old birds. Then there's also a whole bunch of other results, which I'm not going to read, but please take a look at the photo or take a look at the pedigree. Uh, flew as a young bird in 2017. Champion bird, 45th versus 964 birds. Ace bird of the year. That is the sire side on your lot number seven. Ryan, what did you find when you took a look at the ped? Uh, it's it's a nice pet. I mean, the sire the sire's a hell of a, a nice looking pigeon. The, on the dam side, that 660 hen, very, very nice as well. Again, you see some hooping in the background again. And I've been noticing this year, again, you'll see Dave closing up at the top with that hooping blood. I know Galilop up at the top with the hooping blood. Well, what does Joanne have as well? He has a little bit of hooping blood in the birds. And that's what I'm seeing in the pedigrees. Again, nice, strong pigeon. I think this guy would be real good on a tailwind course. But you know what? I bet you these birds here do good. 12, 1,100, 1,300 yards, no problem. Nice pigeon. Look at the nice thick bars. He's got character. This lot number seven. Loft manager rating on lot number seven is a 95 out of 100. Where do you guys go to bid? FeathersLeapPigeonAuctions.com. We want you to also tune in uh, this week because we will be going live question and answer with Yoanni Saints himself. So stay tuned for that notification when we will be live with Yoanni. So Yoanni is going to talk about all of his lots as well as bring some of his auction breeders on camera so we could talk about them as well. So stay tuned for that. That will be a good show, I'm sure. Let's move on to lot number eight. Ryan, read the band number, please. All right, Leah. Here we go. Lot number eight. This could be the this could be the bird of the sale. I'm just just you're letting that out here. Here we go. Lot number eight. AU 2020 Saints 20158. What a beautiful blue pied. A blue or white flight cock. Original Cuba family loft with Peepa Elite Center. A special offer, folks. The grandson of Peepa Elite Center super breeders Dally and Prince Porsche. This is Porsche 158. Ryan, let's talk about him. Ah. <sighs> He's nice. One finger, ah, about a finger, finger and a half keel to the vent. Look at how strong his back is. This pigeon vibrates from the tip of his beak to the tip of the tail. He's loads of muscle. Again, he's got a back on him about that wide, but he's not overly long. He's super soft feathered. His forearm, Leah, is so tight. It's unbelievable. Leah, what are we seeing here? Seeing the motors running. We got that vibration see? in the wing. Got it in the wing. This pigeon is pretty much to me a perfect 100 out of 100. Again, nice wing on him. His three don't line up, but that's okay. Take a look at the strong back on him. Even in, in my hands, he's perfect. Feather quality, perfect. Vents are strong, just a little bit open. But again, in my opinion, an almost perfect to a perfect pigeon. What a pigeon. Great eye on this guy as well. And he's got that little bit of war paint, which I really like. He is grandson of Peepa Elite Center, Super Breeders Dally and Prince Porsche. The grandsire is Dally from Peepa Elite Center. Sire to Louise, winner of First National Borgias versus 19,735 pigeons. First Club Soissons versus 1,891 pigeons. 12th Interprovincial Verizon versus 6,422 pigeons. 30th National Chateau versus 25,700 pigeons. 33rd National Tours versus 24,000 pigeons. 122nd National Borges versus 21,500 pigeons, etc. Son of Tarzan and New Patricia. That's just the grandsire on the sire side. What did you pick out in the pedigree, Ryan? Well, again, the, the, the sire side's got Dolly there right up uh, at the grandsire side. You got the Porsche 911, all the, all the good stuff there. Uh, on the dam side, which was our outstanding pigeons, I mean, that are doing big winning today all over the world. 
but again, if you look in this pedigree of this pigeon, on the damn side, right back in that bottom corner, okay, you'll see Dolly there. He's sitting there dabbling again. So he's, he's on the top. He's on the bottom. Probably some of the very best blood from the PIPA Elite Center in this lot, number eight. Leah, this is one hell of a pigeon. I guess so. Uh -oh. Loft manager rating is 100 out of 100. It is a super. Boy, the lucky winner of this bird. This pigeon's going to go on to breed some super pigeons, I think. He just got that character. Whoa, look at the nice thick bars. Lot number eight. Don't miss this one. Where do you go to bed? FeathersleepPigeonAuctions.com. you got lots of time to do your homework and make your informative bids. This auction closes on Tuesday at 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We're going to move on to lot number nine, which I believe we have another. Do we have another set of nestmates? Not yet. They're coming, though. Don't worry. Moving on to lot nine. Read the band number, Ryan. Lee, I feel like a hot dog. I'm just saying. Oh, just saying. I wonder why. Here, <laughs> Here we go. Uh oh, they changed the ring code on me. AU 2020 Jeds. That's right, Jeds. 32804. Beautiful little blue hen. Yes, please disregard the lettering on this photo. We did have to make a change because I made a mistake. So it is actually AU 20 Jeds 32804. Elibar Hen, original Cuba family loft, daughter of Super Breeder, Silver Dog, and Saints 11084. Inbred Labala, this is Hot Dog. Ryan, let's talk about her. Well, it's kind of bad. You got the name Hot Dog. I mean, normally I'm thinking about some, like, you know, greasy thing, 10 toppings on it. This hen's a nice little hen. Uh, no, she's it's like a back. hot dog. Don't you get it? Like, ooh, that's a hot dog. Like, cool, like a hot. you know, like nice. See, I must be hungry or I haven't had supper because I'm thinking <laughs> hot dog. You know what I mean? Like, maybe put Carry some onions on, on that. Carry okay, on. anyway, here we go. Um, nice, nice hen, one finger kilted event, back is strong, comes up a bit, wants to move maybe a little left or a little right, forearm is nice, it's tight, again, nice soft silky feathers in this hen, she's got a lot of fight, she's got a lot of muscle, a lot of muscle, and it's soft, it feels nice, vents are tucked up, uh, they're touching, they're closed, they're good, she's got a third bar on her as well, a little bit of a third bar. Look at the fight in this hen. She does not like being on the show, so we know she can't be a hot dog. She don't like the show. But uh, there she is. Nice little hen. A lot of fight to her. Your lot number nine. Maybe when I start to get into the pedigree, you'll understand why the bird is named hot dog. The sire is silver dog. Sire to, among others, new bala. AU 19 Saints 790, a silver hen, winner of second versus 1,044 birds at Ace of the Year, GCHPA. Second versus 920 birds, Ace of the Year, GSWC. Fifth versus 367 birds, Ace of the Year, WSL. Second versus 545 birds, 200 miles. Fifth versus 783 birds, 200 miles, etc. Son of Cuba, Family Loft, Best Hen, La Bala, and Top Dog. Sibling to 2011 and 2012 South African winners. That is the sire on your lot number nine. You get and, it and now? Yeah, yeah, I, I kind of get it. You're, I know, you're making fun of them, but I'm still hungry. Would I, would I purchase this hen? Yes, I would. She's full of fight. And that uh, silver dog, you want to see an eye sign on a pigeon. Take a look at him. Speaking with Yoanny, he loves that pigeon. Super breeder, he says. He just keeps pumping out the winners, which is great. Good to see. Real nice looking pigeon as well. Again, on that damn side, you got the 46 Jansen blood in there. Again, top consistent birds. Uh, they just got something going on for them. This is a real nice hen. She got Lo she got strong vibration. Loft manager rating on your lot number nine is 98 out of 100. Where do you guys go to bed? FeathersLeapPigeonAuctions.com. Head on over there after the show's over. Do your research. Make your informative bids. We're going to move on to lot number 10, which I believe, yes, is a the first in a set of nestmates. And we all know how much Leah loves nestmates. Ryan, read the band number on lot number 10. All right, here we go. Lot number 10, AU 2020 Jeds, 32808, a blue checker cock. The Blue Checker Cock, original Cuba Family Loft, son of Casbor Baby and Sugar, full brother to Casbor Charlie, 
And an S mace to your lot, number 11. This is Sugar Baby. Ryan, let's talk about him. Well, okay. He's a big man. He's not overly long, but he's 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 wide right across the back here. Wide, a little bit deeper, a lot of pigeon, a little more maybe bigger boned. Again, about a finger to two fingers kilted event. The vents are up. Uh, they're strong. They're open a little bit. He is one pin tail. You can see, again, good feather quality on him. Soft, silky. The forearm is nice and tight. A lot of pigeon here to work with. Again, look at the three flights on this guy. Lining right up. Nice step there in the wing. Strong, strong, strong pigeon. I mean, he, he is a hell of a pigeon in your hands. Again, like I say, I just like to describe him the best you can. He's got the nice thick bars, third bar on him as well. Good eye sign, lots of fight. He's a two-hander, Leah. He definitely is. So I'm going to talk a little bit about the sire on your lot number 10 and lot number 11 as they are nest mates. The sire is Casbor Baby, sire to Casbor Charlie. AU19 Saints, 799, a dark checker cock. Winner of first versus 799 birds at 100 miles. Sixth versus 672 birds at 200 miles. Ninth versus 587 birds at 300 miles, etc., etc. First versus 367 birds, an ace bird of the year, WSL. Six versus 920 birds, ace bird of the year, GSWC. Grandson and inbred to DeCasbor. That is the sire of your lot number 10 and lot number 11. Ryan, what did you see on the sire side in your lots 10 well, and 11? Well, that Casbor blood, it seems to be winning all over. It wins for everybody. I mean, that Gaston Bauer blood. Those pigeons are special pigeons. A lot of winning. And again... What did Yoanni add to his bloodlines? Top winning blood, right? And the Cosbor, the Gaston Vander, I always butcher the names, but you know who I'm talking about. Top blood right here. He's a big man. He's a two-hander. Lots of muscle. Lot number 10. Loft manager rating on lot number 10 is 95 out of 100. Let's take a look at the nest mate, who is a hen. Lot number 11. Okay, here we how go. How she compares. Read the band over, please. All right. AU Jeds, 2020. 32809, a much smaller blue checker hen. A blue checker hen, original in Cuba Family Loft. The daughter of Casbor Baby and Sugar. Full sister to Casbor Charlie. And an estimate, of course, to your lot number 10. This is Sweetie. Ryan, let's talk about lot number 11. Okay. Much smaller than her brother. Again, the keel is exactly the same. It's a little short. Uh, about a two fingers killed at a vent. The vents are strong, but they're open. And they're open a good way. Uh, again, forearm here. Not super tight, not super loose, so it feels nice. Feather quality on her is real nice, real soft. Real Feels real nice in the hands. Again, not overly loaded with muscle for her size, but she's okay. She's got some muscle there. Again, take a look at that wing. Real, real nice pigeon. Strong one pin tail there in the back. Wants to move maybe a little bit, but you can see. I'm not going to spread the legs, but tail's not moving there now. She's quite calm. But there you have her. Take it away, Leah. Give me the goods on her. Also want to make mention in your lot number 10 and lot number 11. On the top side, of course, as we just talked about, we've got the Casbor. And on the bottom side, the dam side of your 10 and 11, again, once again, we have the Koopman. <laughs> And you're going to notice in the ratings of your lot number 10 and 11, they might be a little lower than the rest of them. But again, we've got the Koopman blood on both of these lots on the dam side. And what did I say about the Koopman? Some of them, composition isn't always the greatest. However, hey, the bloodlines right. are superior. The dam is sugar from a protege uh super great quality is perfect in the hands also first year breeding bred winner in phoenix arizona also mother to foundation breeders at ghc club 2016 17383 u16 ghc a blue checker hen one please go and take a look a whole bunch of uh, races the grand sire on the dam side is young charlie son of charlie and the queen of the netherlands protege loft uh, grandson of Klein Dirk and Amores. So then again, there you've got the Koopman in on the um, grandsire side on the dam. That's where you're getting the Koopman blood. It, it, it's all here in, in, this, in this bird. The bloodlines are there. Big impact pigeons again from the Casbor, 
to the Klein Dirk, the, you know, the Noble Blues in here. It's loaded up. Already breeding good. First year of breeding. Again, maybe this bird won't score the highest, but she's still a nice pigeon. She's still a nice pigeon. Your lot number 11. Loft manager rating is 93 out of 100. Where do you go to bed? Feathers Elite, pigeonoptions.com. We're going to move on to lot number 12. Ooh, another nice pigeon. Here we go. <clears throat> lot number 12, lucky number 12. AU 2020 Jets, 32810. A nice little blue pied hen. A blue pied hen, original Cuba family loft, daughter of Prince Casbor and Texas 6954. Texas 6954 is one of the best producing daughters of super breeder Blade. This is Raina. Ryan, let's talk about lot number 12. Okay. Again, smaller hen. Um, not overly muscular, a little bit deeper. About two fingers heel to the vent. The vents are strong, but again, they're open. They're open. The forearm, tight. Feather quality is nice. Gorgeous wing on the head. she got a real nice wing. She has a vibration to her. And, again, she's one pin tail. She's calm. She's relaxed in the hands. Again, she's not ovular, over muscular. Kind of like uh, lot number uh, 11. They're related. I know that. They feel quite similar, these two hens. But uh, gorgeous rich eye, nice little bit of war paint, nice thick bars. Take it away, Leah. The dam is AU12 Texas, 6954. Dam to Dream Stopper, a super racing hen. Winner of first versus 567 birds, 2016. Ace overall distance at GCHPA. Second versus 255 birds, 2016. Ace long distance, GCHPA. Second versus 175 pigeons, 500 miles, one of the only four day birds, etc., etc. Raced in nine straight races nonstop, daughter of Master Breeders Blade and Bella. That is the dam on your lot number 12. Ryan, what did you pick up in the pedigree? Uh, well, I would put this hen to uh, that lot number nine. Uh, no, lot number 10. Uh, they're related. No problem. I think these two would go good together. She's a little smaller. He's way bigger. Um, Again, good bloodline. Again, the best. Uh, talking to you, Annie, this was uh, this is out of the best daughter of Blade. So there you go. Uh, she's got the fight. Lot number twelve, Leah. Not a bad pigeon at all. Lot manager rating is ninety-two out of a hundred. We're going to move on to lot number thirteen. Lucky lot thirteen. I think this pigeon here was named after me. I'm just saying. Let's read the band number, and then you guys can decide. Go ahead. I know what your spirit animal name is. Should I say it on air? <laughs> or do you want me to hold that? Here we go. Oh, <laughs> this is one hell of a pigeon, Leah. One hell of a pigeon. I hope this is a hen. Here we go. Lot number 13. AU 2020 Jeds 32825. A gorgeous, I'm going to say a blue bar hen, blue pied hen. It is a, a blue bar white flight hen, original Cuba family loft, sister to Badass 29, winner of over $39,000 in prize money. And I believe my spirit animal, this is Sister Badass. Sister Badass. Points for you on that one, Leah. Points for you guys. Perfect, buoyant, strong, one pin tail. When I get to you, Annie's place this year when the COVID breaks I'm going to hopefully handle her sister this is a super pigeon buoyant strong one pin tail loads of muscle I mean loads of muscle super strong forearm the feather condition on this hen is outstanding she's perfect in literally every way and again I'm not going to tell you Leah I'm going to bring it up to you and show you again look at them lining up this is an awesome hen this will probably be my number one pick in the sale as of now. I haven't. Uh, this is just a super pigeon. That, that's it. The sire is Blue King, sire to Badass 29. Flown at the Flying Bee Franchise Futurity in 2018-2019. Saints 29, won at 400 mile race, $3,120. First place backup activation bird, seventh overall. 
And we have AU 18 Saints 29, flown by a fellow in Texas, uh, high roller. First versus 167 pigeons, 70 miles training. Second versus second equal first versus 167 pigeons, 100 mile training. First versus 167 birds, 100 mile training. Final race, 202 miles, smash, 109 degree heat, no day birds. Second day, 11th versus 131 pigeons, won $1,100. These birds just never gave up. They have a real heart to Grandsire, to Golden King, and Super Son of Turbo 730. Ryan, what now, did you notice in the pedigree of your lot number 13? Well, I'm going to tell you something. When it's 109 degrees, most of us, I mean, every one of us in Canada doesn't know what that feels like. No. And in Europe, you don't know what that really feels like. That is so hot. That is so hot. When you take your dogs out for a walk... And you go on the concrete or the asphalt, it will burn the paws right off of them. Uh, this is a super pigeon. It's loaded. You have an opportunity to get an estimate of a $39,000 winner. Uh, this is a no-brainer. Leah, I think this bird might be the highest bird in the sale. And I won't be surprised if this is your around your $5,000 to $6,000 pigeon all day long right <clears throat> here. Lot number 13. I want to make mention the grand sire on the sire side is Mr. Tur Turbo 730 from Gabby Van uh, Father to yeah. many foundation breeders and many winners. I'm not going to go through them all. Please take a look at our website. You can take a look at the results. They are astounding. Um, the dam side, of course, it? you've got the dam is a full sister to El Patron, who is the sire of super Ace Super Racer Mr. Ace, which I believe we talked about earlier. Really a super pedigree in lot number 13. Loft manager rating, 100 out of 100. That's a real super right there. And I must say, she does have a kick-ass name. Sister Badass. Le Leah, am I allowed? Because this is your spirit animal. Would I be allowed to pick this one up for you? Because I'll tell you, this one is your spirit animal. This is a super. The eye is super. Everything about this bird says pick me. It's the bird of the sale, in my opinion. Lucky 13. And not if anybody cares, but it is my pick of the sale, lot number 13. We're going to move on to lot number 14, the final lot in the Yoanni Saints online auction, only at FeathersLeapPigeonAuctions.com. Ryan, read the band number on your lot number 14. All right, here we go. Lot number 14, the final lot of the sale, AU 2020 Jeds 32834, a real nice blue true pencil cock. A blue pencil cock, original Cuba family loft, Pipa Elite Center again, son of Porsche Panamera and Saints 179, grandson of again Blade. This is Porsche 834. Ryan, let's talk about lot number 14. Okay. He's a longer cast pigeon, uh, one finger keel to the vent. The vents are strong. The, the vent on this side is just tucked up a little bit, but they're touching, they're strong. Uh, again, got a nice, super strong forearm. Good vibration. You can feel it in this pigeon. Feather quality is nice, soft, and silky. Again, nice big, big wing on the guy. For his size, he's not – he's big, but he's he's buoyant. He's not like lead. Nice pigeon. Again, the back is strong. When he calms down in your hands, you know, he's not fishing around. Sharp looking face, nice eye. I like the penciling on them. Nice thick bars, rich eye. Lot 14. Lot number 14, of course, is Son of Porsche Panamera and Saints 179, Grandson Blade. The dam is AU 14 Saints 179, dam to winner of 7th versus 489 birds at 200 miles, 10th versus 242 birds at 400 miles, 15th versus 302 birds at 300 miles. 17th versus 567 birds, champion bird 2016, etc., etc. Daughter of Master Breeder Blade. So we've got Blade going on in the pedigree. What else, Ryan, did you notice? Hey, well, what? Tell me. It's not what do I notice. It's what do you notice? New Freddy 330 from the Pipa Elite Center with Bart Gearings, of course, on the sire side. That is the grand sire. The grand dam is Daughter Boxer 752 from the Pipa Elite Center. Mm -hmm. uh, she is Dan mm -hmm. to fourth final South African Million Pigeon Race, 2019, ninth Provincial Salbris, 2,287 pigeons, etc., etc. The dam, of course, 179, which I already went through. 
Super Super it's Daughter loaded. Master Breeder Blade. We've got Blade is the Grandsire. And the Granddam, we've got uh, 2273 from the Cannibal Bloodlines. So I'd say pretty loaded. Pretty loaded. He's loaded. Look at the look at the look at the look at the muscle in this guy's wing. Look at it vibrate. You were talking, Leah. He was putting on a show. He's got the muscle. The motor's running. Again, you got Wittenkopf, Sylvester in there. You got New Freddy. You got Boxster. You have it all. Those are all top birds from Peepa. <clears throat> in your lot, fourteen, Leah. This is it. There he is. Sure is wow. handsome. Loft manager rating on lot number 14 is 98 out of 100. Those are all 14 lots in the UNA Saints Cuba Family Loft online auction. Hey, folks, if you're not good on the computer and not 100% sure how to register to bid or how to bid online, no problem. We got you covered. We do take phone bids. For phone bids, you can call 416-990-0187. We do ask that you call if you're going to call at the end of the auction, we do ask that you call at least 15 minutes before the auction closes so we can get you locked and loaded and make sure we're able to bid on your behalf. All rules, regulations, stipulations apply if you are doing phone bids, same as you would if you were bidding yourself online, but we help you out there. Go ahead, Ryan. Remember, this man, Yoanni Saints. Remember this name. In the last five years, 150000 U.S. dollars he's earned. He's earned it. He spent good money on pigeons. He's cultivated them. He spent a lot of money testing them in races and finding those magical combinations. Here they are here. You have an opportunity to add this to your breeding program. They're fantastic pigeons. The bloodline's there. The winning is there. And they win, like I said, when the money is on the table. This is one of the men that takes it out of your pocket and puts it into his. Yoanni, I want to thank you for these fantastic birds and being our first American auction. Very good start. And good start. an excellent start because I consider Yoanni Saints the most successful one loft racer in North America of this past year of 2020, in my opinion. Would you not agree? Hey. The money is in his pocket. He puts out the wins. He's got the birds. They're here. North America, this is your opportunity to own some of the very best from you, Annie. And remember, this week at Pattaya, his 20th average speed going into the finals. How many of us, raise your hands, or in that race, and how many of us would just love to be sitting in that position? That's it. I know I would. I know I would. Uh, stay tuned for a lot of uh, great things coming this week. We will, of course, as I said, be doing a live question and answer with Yoannis at some point this week before his auction closes. We will definitely post when we are going to do that. Please tune in from, for that, where you can ask the breeder himself any questions you have regarding any of the lots that he has for sale or just about his flying in general. Um, also on Saturday, we do have our open house lot viewing. We do have uh, COVID-19 restrictions in place. We're allowing a certain number of people in at a time. It's going to be timed, etc. If you're not comfortable um, in that kind of environment, you can certainly call Ryan, make an appointment. You can have a private viewing, or Ryan will do a FaceTime with you if you want to see certain lots, uh, certain lots in particular. He will show them to you on FaceTime. We're here to help you guys through this pandemic situation and make this bidding experience as easy and informative as possible for you. Of course, on Tuesday before the auction closes, Ryan will be back with his Live at Five Loft Manager picks. I think that's it. I want to thank you, Annie, very much. I'm very much looking forward to interviewing him uh, in a few days and hearing what he has to say. I think that's it for me, Ryan. All right. That's it for me, guys. Happy bidding. Good luck. Stay safe. Check out Feathers Elite Pigeon Auctions YouTube channel. Hit that subscribe button. Check out the new iSign videos. They're fantastic. Enjoy the site, guys. Be safe. Yoanni, good luck, my friends. You're about to hopefully win it and take some more of the people's money. I'm Ryan. That's Leah. That's Leah. I'm Ryan. Thanks for flying with me. Bye for now.